And so we're going to draft again. Thank you again, Wizards, for inviting me to play Early Access Outlaws Thunder Junction. I'm Zbex. I'm a professional cosplayer and trading card game personality. And we're ready. Yeehaw! We got Pitiless Carnage. Sacrifice any number of permanents you control and draw that many cards. I don't really like that. Bling. Eh. At knife point, we saw this be kind of cool. We had two of them. Doc or lock. Grizzled genius. Spells you cast from your graveyard or exile cost two less. Plotting cards from your hands cost two less. That's kind of cool. Maybe we want to try blue-green plot. Does anybody actually want me to draft Pitiless Carnage? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Inventive Wingsmith. Rakdos joins up. Legendary Enchantment. Turn to our creature card from a graveyard battlefield and it dies. It's okay, but draft. There are ways to get stuff in the graveyard in this deck. Flying Vigilance Ward 2. I like that. It's a Sarah Angel on a Sphinx, ro Sphinx Rogue. This town ain't big enough. This spell costs three less to cast. Targets a permanent you control. Where's more plot? We want blue green plot. Well, we're, we're in the blue, so I do like that. We like the flying. And blue-green is seeming more open in this particular pack, so that's interesting as well. Um, beginning of your end step, if you haven't cast a spell from your hand this turn, and it, it becomes a 3-3 three, three creature... Huh. That's interesting. Spree. Exchange control. We got a desert. We got plummet. We got vile smasher. Reach for the sky. I kind of like the emergent haunting. I don't know. Exchange control of two target creatures. That's like kind of weird. I'm not, like, loving tons of these cards. I, I shouldn't really lock myself into blue-green this early, but I haven't seen any creatures either that I'm like, yeah, let's pivot and go this direction. So, okay, one last job. Sorcery. I keep getting stuff that's returning stuff from the graveyard to the battlefield. I'm like, was it trying to tell me to play reanimator, but I haven't opened any reanimator bombs yet? Whatever. Uh, gold rush. Treasure token, one target creature gets plus two plus two for each treasure you control. That's kind of interesting. Pump spell, loan shark, plot. I like that. We're going on green. <laughs> Apparently, we're I, we're going for green, blue plot. I don't know why, but we're just gonna see if it, it's a deck. Massage pen. Or tumbleweed rising. X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Mm, little creatures. I like the Visage Bandit better. We beat LSV with the red black draft deck. Fun fact. In case you missed it. Torfor Orb, what? Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. I think I have. Yeah. Duelist of the Mind, Flying, Vigilance, Powers equal to the number of cards you've drawn this turn. I kind of like that. It's a rare. What's this? Area at the Beguiler. We still could play this. Whenever it becomes attached to a non-land permanent control, it's made of a and you don't gain control of that permanent for as long as it's attached to it. I don't think we're trying to do that. I would rather take Duelist of the Mind. Flying Vigilance seems better. Who else is in the pod? We will take a look here in just a second. Gonna have a little bit more time on a pack. Surveil three. If you have no cards in your hand, draw three cards and has plot. I'm trying to do plot dot deck. Oh, but stop cold tap and uh, tap per enchanted permanent. Enchant permanent lose all abilities and doesn't untap. We like stop cold. 
I think I like stop cold over plan the heist for the four mana slot. Okay, who else is in the pod? We've got LSV is in the pod. Isaiah, MTG, Human Token was in our first pod, Headology, Rydera, Voxy's in the pod, and Numat. Numat the Nummy. All right. So, ooh, Flying and Plot. Plot, 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 plot. And another Stop Cold, but I like Flying. Now, we could be splashing red here. When you cast a multicolored instance or sorcery spell from your hand, exile that spell instead of putting it into your graveyard. If you do, it becomes plotted. Oh, we're going to take Lilla over the dinge fool. We could go we could go blue red at this point in time. Well, this is a supercharged pot then. Yeah, and Zebex is in it. So obviously it's supercharged. And there we got the dinge fool right here. See, Piddler's Carnage tabled. Nobody wanted the rare that I opened. I don't love it, but I'll take it. Maybe I'll take the Oasis Gardener, actually. Since I don't know what colors I'm playing yet. Tornado. Destroy target creature with flying. It has cycling. That's fine. Or, so, so, sorry, Thornado. Or potentially a red creature. I like the cycling. Cycling's great. Dream Blunt Rotation Pod. Ow, oh, I love that. Heck yes. I will take the door for or whatever. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, y'all. We have Kel and the Kid or Loot that we can choose from. And we can go with this. Whenever you cast a spell anywhere from other than your hand, which we have plot, you may cast a permanent spell with lesser... Oh my gosh. Or put a land into play under or loot ward at the beginning of XL X cards from your library X is the number of card types. I think we're taking Kellen the Kid. But then we would be going blue, white, green. I don't know. I don't even know. Let's look at what else is in the pack. Whenever you commit a crime, each one moves to your cards. The plot. Target gains flashback. That might be better, a 2-3, but Flying Lifelink, oh my gosh, y'all. Tell me what to pick, y'all. got nine seconds. Kellen seems fantastic for us. I think so, too. I think we take Kellen. We we don't worry about Lilla. We've already been taking some green stuff, green, blue, plot, splash, white. What is up with this? This is not blue, so we're not worried. But, all right. We're officially green, blue, white, I feel like, maybe. Counter target creature spell, haste and ward, flying with plot. We need some cheaper creatures, honestly, or some cheaper stuff. Counter on stuff. I just like flyers. None of these cards are cheap. I can plot for four. Hopefully I'll get another dock or lock and get stuff out for cheaper. I'm almost tempted to take the essence capture, but... I'm going to take the creature. Um, we've got... Just rolling these cards out because they're not in our colors now. Razzle Dazzler. Oh, we love this for plot. Green, blue, Razzle Dazzler. Let's go. Give them the old Razzle Dazzle. Razzle-dazzle them. Razzle-dazzle them. How about that for hat tricks? This town ain't big enough. Return up to two non-land permanents to their owner's hand. That could be clutch. Um. Ah, when it enters the battlefield, choose a color. It enters tapped or a desert that's in our colors. Uh, there's more thematic stuff for deserts. Oh, that's a desert too. I think. 
Mirage Mesa or Lush Oasis? I like the one damage to the opponent. Mirage Mesa. We If we need that white, we need it. <laughs> I always switch at the last second, y'all. Exile two cards from a single group. Oh, Unlicensed Hearst. I know that card. Ankle Biter. Death Touch. We needed a little guy. Sterling Hound. Hey, MTG Nerd Girl. How are you doing? We're going um, plot, green blue plot with Kellen. Just so you know. Bleeding reflection. Hex proof. Create a copy. That's fun. That's a cheap spell. Or we've got a bird that can tap a permanent. Oh, I like birds. And it can draw and discard. I like fleeting reflection. It's cool. It's an uncommon. We might get a chance to draft another bird. Um, Stop cold. We love. We already have one, but we'll take two. Or a drizzly grover. Which we kind of like, would like to have more low creatures. What's our, our curve is so wrecked right now, but it's not so bad. I like stop cold. Like GTFO. Loses all abilities. Doing really well. Ready to battle this Sunday? Yes, I am partner, but I will not be a country. Like this is all I can handle of the country. I'm saving all my country for your command fest, Dallas. Apparently I have a beard. Prospecting to get a bear here. Um, no, we want Gold Rush because then we can get a treasure token, which might help us cast Kellen. That table, that was good. Okay, Miram, we're only splashing white, so we're not really focusing on that. We love the Deep Muck Desperado. We could get a bird. <sighs> I want the bird. I need low drops. I'm not committing crimes as much as in the other deck either. So we'll do the outfit check after the draft. Thank you for redeeming that, AJ. Oh, uh, we got one more pack after this. Defender, draw a card and create a treasure. If we really need white or something, that sentinel is going to come in handy. Sterling Hound. Oh, dang it. Yeah. What's the one thing we don't want to play against? Oh, Sterling Hound. Oh, oh. oh, we got a bird! We got a bird! Bird is the word! <laughs> Can you, are you ready to mute your microphone this weekend, nerd girl? Because get ready to put your headphones on. z the house. <laughs> Canyon Crab. Maybe. Rise of the Varmints. Ooh, create X two ones or X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. That could be really fun. I like that more than the crab. And it's got plot, so we can just play it and then get ready to play it anytime. Flying, as long as it's not your turn. Spells cost one less. Uh, I'm going for Rise of the Varmints. Eight Archmage's Charm. Triple blue. Maybe. I have enough blue. Fleeting Reflection. I already have one of those. Ah, but another Locks. I would like another Razzle Dazzler. I would like another Razzle Dazzler. <laughs> uh, we don't even care about the... I keep wanting to read this as a, where the H is, where the L is, as a sh shick sl block splitter. Oh my god, damn it. <laughs> we just gotta pick the card and move on. <laughs> Canyon Crab, we have another chance to grab one of those if we want. Give them the old. Razzle Dazzle. We lost to the Razzle Dazzler, so we do like the Razzle Dazzler. They were doing blue-red plot. I'm trying green-blue 
splash white plot. Splash enters tapped. I like the crab here, I think. I like the crab here. Surgical extraction? <laughs> I didn't realize that was on that sheet. Um, trash the town. Put counters, gain trample. Combat, draw cards. Oh, we have another Din's Fool, which is flying. I like that better with the plot. Tramble. I was just going for flying dot deck. Flying dot deck. Oh, search your library. If I need the lands uh, for Kellen... I got it. It's really late, though. It's four mana. I would rather have a giant beaver with vigilance. Or another Mirage Mesa. But I think I like the beaver. They, don't, they go on the battlefield tapped, but whatever. We're not, like, super big deck. Surveil, if you have no cards in hand, draw three cards. That's kind of a cool plot card. Seize the secrets. We're not committing very many crimes. Add one mana of any color, only in the mouth. What to like plan the heist? Giant beer with vigilance. Enter your own joke here. Yes, exactly. Rambling possum will enter the joke here. Um, stubborn barn, burrow fiend, all of these sound potentially dirty. We, the bird is not going to table to us. The commando, we just took it because I hadn't seen it yet. Yes, we got a dock. I didn't even see this. We're taking another dock. We love dock. We got a second dock. Yo, we got a second dock. Okay, do we take a third stop cold or do we take a flyer? take the flyer uh oh arch maze's charm tabled i'll take it i'll take it we already have a fleeting reflection so let's just try it that could be a clutch um play we got it we don't care about any of these we'll, we'll take the plot card just because Have we gotten down to where we're actually making cuts now? Okay, we got we did get two birds and a death toucher, so I like my curve there. The crab is all right. Duelist of the mind, emergent haunting. It doesn't say until I didn't read this really when we were drafting. It doesn't say until end of turn. Just don't cast any spells from your hand, and it's a 3-3 three, three creature for the rest of the game. Fleeting Reflection. This one, I'm, like, not so sure if I love it. But it will help with plot. Gold Rush will also help with plot. Ah, uh, Vigilance. I'm not really committing crimes. Let's cut Slick Shot Vault Buster for now. I should just cut the green and just have it be mono blue, splash white, splash green for Kellen and Doc. Like, get rid of the ankle biter. Get rid of the gold rush. I feel like Kellen was a trap. Now, these are all green spells that I feel worth playing. The 1-1 Death Toucher... I feel like is okay in some situations, but I'm not like excited when I'm playing that. How many planes are we really going to play? But if we just cut Kellen and the Oasis Gardener, then we don't have to play the Red Rock Sentinel. I don't think I have enough white cards to support playing Kellen. 
Do we play it with the white or green blue? I'm just deciding that we're cutting white. We're not going to play Kellen. We're just going to have a really cool deck with the green blue guy and the death touch guy. And, and we can go down to 16. Land. We're only at 15. We need to go up land. So we won't play the ankle biter. Okay. I feel like Kellen is just going to make you have games where you're not drawing a planes when you have them in hand and you are drawing a planes when you need a green or a blue. That's what my gut tells me. And the HR man is just charm tabled and is kind of cool. Like, and we can go heavy blue. So let's play this. We're going to try to get in at least two games with this before I need to head into work. We're playing against C. Favretto Jr. as Kellen. Good luck, partner. Look at that. We've got a lovely display of all sorts of mana. We've got a two drop. We've got stuff we can plot. We've got stuff we can tap down our opponent's stuff with. This is fabulous. We've got two forests. So our Mirage Mesa is going to be chosen as blue. See, it gave us Kellen mana. Just, But it never would have actually given us Kellen when they gave us Kellen mana if we had included it. All right, gold pan, make a treasure, nice. I can't even plot anything, so guess what? This just gets to happen. Oh, I can surreal. Might as well. Ooh. I will leave that on top. That's a fine thing to draw. Having two flyers. win with flyers. That's my plan. Okay, so we are going to plot doesn't really matter which one we do, but we'll have extra mana. I don't know if we have any one drops, so I think it's better to plot Jin's pool. We'll see later on if it matters which one you plot. And we'll do a random magic card after this game. Or the random magic card is going to be the next one we draw off the top of our deck. Ta-da! That's what it's going to be. <laughs> it will be random. I'll do a real one, though, after the game. All right. Doc Orlock. Spells you cast from your graveyard or exile cost two less to cast. Plotting cards cost two less to cast. This is great because then I could play this and Lone Shark. I could still plot. Oh, you have to cast it on a later turn. Ah, I see. That's why it would have been different. That's fine. Um, well, what do we want to do? What is this also? Mm, you got a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. I don't feel like we care, like, stopping cold any of those things. I do want to draw a card, though. So let's go ahead and play the Lone Shark. See, it made sense that we did it like this. And then we're going to play the Gin of Fool's Fall. Do we get to draw a card? Two or more spells. When it enters the bat, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. Oh well. So be it. We got we got things out there. 
Plotting is basically a mixture of foretell and suspend. Yeah, and I read that long. I should have cast the gin first and then had the lone shark trigger. So there you go. This is why I'm showing you the cards. Oh, you still don't have any flyers. Doc and Kelling making foretell good again? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, casting spells from exile. That's actually cool. I would like to see some more foretell decks. Kind of like the way we saw Morph and um, Disguise kind of make some new stuff happen. Five, five. We'll take it for now and then we can tap it down next turn. Or do we want to put our loan shark in front of it? We're not going to block. We'll just tap it down next turn. Lilla is cool. Stone cold copy shark. Oh, yeah. The visage bandit, you mean. But yeah. No, but it would enter tap. I also have to copy a creature I control. So I'll probably just copy the either the fool's falling. Probably the fool's falling. And then we're going to stop cold the zombie, I guess. Actually, it's just giving it plus one from the, from the, from that. So it doesn't really matter. It's whatever it's quipped is going to have that. I could draw a card if I choose the loan shark, but I'd rather have a flyer to get through for the win. Oh, I think I can just win. Do they have any flyers? Oh, and now I can get hexproof. I've got the right mana open. Well, that was fun. We, we just wanted to make sure we drew optimally, but there we go. We did it. Okay, I overthought that way too much, y'all. I misplayed and overthought that, We but, like, we got there. Veggie Wagon! Let's go! Howdy, partner. Only a few miles down the road from here, I see. Oh, and we got, we got green blue with Doc and the Res Dazzler. Yo, this is a keeper. What a game to finish out on. This might be my last one because I do have to go to work. Oh, but it taps a permanent when you come in. I still think you just get the flyer out. What, in tornation? <laughs> Okay, do we play Doc or do we play Razzle Dazzler? I think we play Razzle Dazzler and hope that we get another island and play Doc. Or we play Doc. We play Razzle Dazzler. Doc? Oh, it's too late. Sorry. It was... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Probably should have played Doc, but we got the Razzle Dazzler out now. We have a one drop in our hand, so if we draw an island, we can play Doc and the Harrier and get the Razzle Dazzler to trigger, and it won't be blocked. That's the ultimate hope. If we don't have that happen, Doc would have been better to play 
but we don't currently have any plot cards in our hand, so Doc currently wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't really. It didn't really matter either way at the moment based on the information we have. If I had more experience playing the deck, maybe I'd know. I got a ah, not an island. I got a forest. That's okay. I still could play Doc now, but now I kind of want to play Geyser Drake. What do you got going on here? And that way, spells will cast less on not my turn, which will help will stop cold, which I do have two of those in my hand. So that is relevant because it's an enchantment with flash. <laughs> Veggie is aggro, though, with the red, white, Boros, Kellen. I am a little, uh, like, he could just run me over if I'm not careful. Do I want to trade with the mercenary? No, not with my flyer. Hey, island, 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 not an island. Okay, we'll play Doc. Or I could flash and tap down. Ooh, I want to play stop cold on their turn, actually. I think that's what I want to do, or do I play Doc now and then be able to play? No, I think that's what I have to do. Deep breath. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, give me the Gallia emotes, fam. <laughs> Take another three. All right, because my guy's going to start getting bigger here. We just got to stabilize. <laughs> Come on, island! Island, 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 island. Can I get an island in there, chat? Island, 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 island. Oh, you got another one? I got another one, too. That is not an island! Oh, you have a, a dude. I didn't realize that. Draw. I didn't realize that. When did you get reach? Mm, that's dumb. Well, that was dumb. I could have had a blocker. In comparison to the first draft, you can tell here where I'm more distracted and clearly not thinking about the game as much since I'm preparing to go to work. Whoopsies. Stop cold, those venerated townsfolk. <laughs> Can't point out music around here, Veggie GTFO. <laughs> Going on to nine. Oof. Let's, we got one more turn to draw an island. Island, island, island. Yes. AJ says double islands. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> so late. <sighs> now I don't want to be attacking with Razzler Dazzler, but I'll at least get a counter on it so it's bigger. And I can tap something down that's already tapped. Cool. As much as I would love to attack, we're not attacking right now. 
Well, we're not dead yet. Exactly. Yeah, the whole thing was, well, now we've got a bigger blocker. They only have three creatures, so we're in a much better position now. They can ping me for one instead of attacking with Dead Eye Duelist. <laughs> so mean to the town folks. What is this, Footloose? Yes, it is, because I enjoy dancing, obviously. So I'm going to block with my Razzle Dazzler, even though it makes me sad because I think Doc's going to help me cast things. What? Archangel of Tides? Get out of here. It's fine. I wasn't attacking you anyway. See, this is good because now I can play both Duelist of the Mind and Plan the Heist, which is great. Um, woo! Which its power is equal to the number of cards you draw, which is kind of cool since it won't be relevant. On my opponent's turn. This card is not as cool as I thought. This is good. This is why we're playing these cards. Seeing what they do. Okay. Uh, we are staying back on the defenses. I recognized pretty early on that Veggie was playing a red-white aggro deck, so I'm not sure why I didn't trade with his prickly red creature sooner. And I shouldn't have been attacking with my flyer as much. That should have been the trade. I got a blocker, at least. I got some blockers. In case you need a refresher on Archangel of Tithes, it requires blocking creatures to pay one for each creature blocking. I don't have the one. <laughs> Oops. All right, that's fine. We don't lose any creatures then. That's great. That's so great. We did not draw a freaking land. <laughs> she does not, in fact, pay the one. Well, we'll plot this because we can't play that. Actually, yeah, we, we, we will plot it. Uh, oh, we shouldn't have done that because if we would have done this correctly, are we just dead next turn? How did it get plus one? We're just dead next turn. We better do this. We didn't even draw a land off of that. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed these arena videos. I only take part in these things when they come around every standard set. Oh, I should have said take part in these parts. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting me. You are fabulous.